Okay, welcome back everybody. In this video tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at how to uh, turn an inventor part or assembly uh, into a turntable animation that we are going to be using in our hologram video. All right, so first things first, you have to go out there and take a look at the background. And by default, I think this is called winter night or winter day or something. I don't know. But here's what we need. We need a black background, okay? So in order for this to appear to be floating, we need this to be the background to be black and we need for the materials that we're using I would really suggest you go out there and use like brighter colored materials to really get this to pop with the contrast so with that being said I'm gonna come up here I'm gonna go to tools first go to application options I'm gonna go into my colors tab and switching this to a high contrast color scheme and the background does not need to be gradient it needs to be one color once I do that I can see the black background so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and close Okay, a couple other things that I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to my view tab. I'm going to go out here and I'm actually going to switch this, I believe it's to one light. We can see it's a little bit brighter. Um, so we'll switch it to one light. And then um, up here, I'm going to go ahead and turn my shadows on. And underneath shadows, I'm going to come in here and turn off my ambient shadows because that's a funny looking thing that's kind of happening down there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those off. Next thing is I want this to, to appear what the human eye will see. So I'm going to switch this from orthographic over to perspective and I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Okay. So that's really kind of where we are starting. Okay. My automata looks good. I'm pretty happy with it. All right. So our next part is we're going to be jumping over to the environments tab, picking on environments, going to inventor studio. Okay, and when we do that, here's where we're going to get started. We're going to come over here look for animations. We're going to hit the pull down next to it. Okay, we're going to right click on animations. And we're going to say we want to create a new animation. So now we'll see that animation one is there. And what I would do is just slowly pick on this and go out here and rename this. And I'll just say, you know, hey, this is turntable. Okay, so we've renamed that. Next thing you need to do is right click on that new animation that you've created. I'm going to come down here and pick on activate. <clears throat> and when I activate, you're going to see that the timeline shows up. All right. So the first thing you need to do is come over here and find this button over here called animation options. Pick on the animation options because we want to come out here and just turn this into a quick and simple 10 second video. I'm going to go ahead and pick OK on that. Okay, now I'm going to be heading over back to my browser again, going to cameras. I'm going to right click. I'm going to say I want to create a camera from view. Okay, and when we do that, we can actually see the camera is there. Okay, it's directly in line with uh, our site to the uh, automata, but it is there. Okay, and now once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and right click on that camera and I'm going to say animate the camera. Okay, and when I do that, all right, we're going to be getting this dialog box. And the only thing that you really need to be taking a look at here is the turntable tab. So once you pick on the turntable tab, go ahead and pick on the turntable checkbox. And now you're going to be seeing an axis that's being highlighted. So in this case, all right, we can see that this is the axis that we would uh, be spinning our camera around. This is incorrect. So you need to go out there and you need to find... Okay, which one of those axes this is actually going to be spinning around. So we can see in this case that um, the Z origin is actually where we want our camera to be spinning around. So that is correct. Okay, so right now we're going to be doing one revolution. Um, and that one revolution is going to be happening in the 10 seconds. Okay, but the thing is, is that this one revolution is going to be happening right now over one minute. So if we went with the, the current settings, we would never get the full 360. So if you want one revolution in the 10 seconds, you have to come up here and hit the plus minus radio button. Okay, so one revolution plus minus 10 seconds. Now we're going to go ahead and say OK. All right, so when we do that, we'll see that this little marker has gone down to our 10 second mark. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rewind this or go to the start. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be picking here at this pull down and switching it to camera number one. When I hit camera number one and hit the play button, you're going to see how it's going to give us a little bit of a preview of what this is going to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. I'm going to continue this to the start. Okay, and now I am basically ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the record animation button. Okay, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to lock this in a 1920 by 1080 ratio. Now, sometimes this happens, sometimes it doesn't. But in my case, you can see it's going to be clipping this one off. Okay, so don't freak out. 
Okay, there's a really quick and easy way. We can close out of this and go to my camera. I can edit the camera, and right now our current zoom is looking at like 24. I'm going to go ahead and just bump this up to 50, and I'm going to go ahead and say OK. I'm now going to come back. I'm going to record the animation again. We can see how this is totally enclosed within that 1920 by 1080 ratio. Okay, now I'm going to be switching over here, taking a look at the output. Right now, this is saying this is going to be doing this for 30 seconds. I only want this to be 10. Okay, and currently our frame rate is at 15. I usually bump this up to 30. Um, it's going to really smooth this out, make it a lot cleaner looking. You can go all the way up to 60. Just remember your rendering time is going to really dramatically increase. Okay, so the next thing that we have to do is, is we have to come out here. Okay, and we're going to go out here uh, to uh, save this. I'm just going to put this right here on my desktop. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give that a name. But the thing is, I want this to be an AVI. Okay, the AVI quality is going to be much, much better. Okay, the file size is going to increase, but if you've been following along with uh, our presentation, I did mention something about the XVID codec, and that is what is going to save us to keep that file size much smaller. Okay, so I am uh, going to go ahead and go to save. Okay. And once I hit save and hit render, it's now going to be asking me, hey, what would I like to use for my compressor? Okay, and then this is where the XVID Kodak is going to be coming into it. All right, that is the one you are going to want to pick. Okay, that is not there by default. That is one of those things you have to download. It is totally free and totally safe. Download it, and now you'll be getting that option uh, for that Kodak. So I'm going to go ahead and pick on that. I'm going to go ahead and say OK, and now we're going to be seeing the rendering process start. Okay, so right now this is frame uh, one out of 301 frames that it has to render. All right, just going to warn you, sometimes this can take six, seven, eight hours on the render. Okay, it, what you get in the end is absolutely fantastic. So there you go. That is how you create a turntable animation using Autodesk Inventor.